Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. I'm here today with another video, which is really nice. It's been a little bit busy, hectic in this house. We did a little bit of painting and whatnot, just some little touch-ups. But that always in home renovation, if you start like one thing, you're like, oh, we'll just do that as well. So we did that just touching up a few little things paint wise. We got a little bit of decal in the nursery. So I'm excited. I am going to give you a nursery tour. I have had a lot of interest in that. So that for sure will happen. I didn't get to film my baby haul if you watched my get ready with me <laughs> pregnancy update life update <clears throat> thank you so much for the support that was fun to do a little bit of a different flavor on my channel so thank you so much for the support and I didn't end up filming that night uh, but I will go ahead and and do that haul just to show you some of the uh, items I have picked up <laughs> along the way for the baby. But today's video is going to be a what's in my bag, specifically my Birkin, my Hermes Birkin 35 centimeter in the Togo leather in the color gold. I am going to show you what's inside it and uh, sort of what how I've got it laid out because I traded, I actually traded it out to my jumbo which is behind there um, but I was going to show you me doing that but it all just got too much and I needed to trade it out because honestly it was just becoming like truthfully a junkyard I was throwing everything in and I feel like Birkins are great for that in a way but then the heaviness and everything so you kind of got to be a little bit creative but this is how I carried it minus <laughs> the charm on the front I put this on just now it was behind me on my speedy 25 which I love I really adore it on there I do adore it still on the Birkin no matter what sort of opinions came in when I showed you this charm because I really love the charm it's just such a delicate little charm I put it on here to show you that yes in fact with my organizer which i'll show you it does still fit a lot of people have been interested in this charm they're like why is it on your birkin and i'm like oh girl you still like the charm so um yeah it does still work and it does what i wanted it for which was to hold the lock keepers in place so they don't necessarily pull out because this is a much sort of smooshier vintage Birkin if you've heard me say it uh, so it there you are you can see it up close there it does do the trick that I really wanted it to do which was hold I however love it I I don't mind with all the opinions that it's tacky or don't put two labels on one I just that's lovely <laughs> to come in and say that but it's my bag so I'm down with whatever and as I have said in the past, I'm not a Fendi poof monster bug charm kind of girl. I just, that's not me. And I'm not a twilly handle girl either. Side, firstly, I will show you is my Burberry shawl. I'm going to have to keep it here on my lap because man, it is so heavy. You know, I usually like to show you everything, but whew, it's too much in it. This is my Burberry shawl. I picked this up in Singapore airport when mum and I went to Singapore at the beginning of the year. It is so gorgeous. It's a beautiful lightweight. It's lighter than the Louis Vuitton uh, big 90 centimeter shawls that I have, uh, which are huge. But this is a softer, kind of lighter. You could wear it through autumn uh, to winter, even a cooler spring day, uh, because whereas the Vuittons are more like blankets, like I love my Vuitton shawls, I love them. They don't particularly wear too well, like they pull, this doesn't pull as much as the monogram shawls that I have, uh, but it nevertheless, 
I love my LV shawls. I don't care if they pull. I don't care if they snag. They're like my blankies. I've said that before. They're like my bunkies. Uh, so, but this is really nice to have for a change. If you're thinking about it, go in and try it on. This is a square, the square shape shawl. They have many different uh, sort of sizes and shapes. They have scarf shapes and whatnot, but this is the, the uh, square shape and I love it. So I had that going on a lot. Actually, in fact, I was wearing it today as well. I am in oatmeal, if anybody cares to notice. We're not in black, a little bit of a lighter color. Uh, anyway, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you what's inside. I'll take the charm off because that's not authentic of how I was carrying it for the last two weeks straight. It went over two weeks, really. I was obsessed, I couldn't put it down. This is the bag without the charm. So you can sort of see it's so packed, like stupidly packed, but I put everything back in the way I had it, especially that last week because uh, when I went to see my um, obstetrician in my Get Ready With Me video, I took this bag. I truthfully took what was inside it. I even took another folder and it held it and it's heavy. So at one point I just gave, gave it to the hobby and he's like, Am I going to get some serious stairs because I'm carrying an Hermes Birkin? And I was like, yes, honey, you're so on trend. Here is the inside. I'm just going to hold it like this and hope it focuses. Here is the inside of this just Pandora's box. Well, I'm just going to start by showing you in the back. It's not in the smorgasbord bag organizer. You can see it here on the back wall. I have my baby notes from Kiki K. I did show this in uh, one of my favorite videos, favorites videos. It is a really cool uh, journal like um, organizer for if you're pregnant, if you're planning to get pregnant, uh, whatnot uh, by Kiki K, the stationery company. I have shown this before. Basically, the rest of the bag is. Uh, not used except the backpack pocket because now I have my smorgas bag organizer which is made for the Birkin 35 centimeter you can go on smorgas.com I'll leave the link below and you can choose an organizer for the bag your oh, sorry I kicked the stand that you're obviously wanting it to fit in this is the actual one made for the Birkin 35 centimeter. They have like over, I don't know, 30 colors to choose from. I chose this, which is called Dark Dune. And I think it, it's perfect to go inside uh, of the gold Togo leather. And then if I wanted to put it inside another bag, it'll blend as well nicely. On the actual Birkin's zipper pocket at the back here, I do in fact keep two things. The first thing is my uh, handbag holder uh, for tables from Fashion File. If you do not have one of these, I rave about them. And particularly I rave about this shape. This is Fashion File's actual uh, merchandise of their own. So that's a Fashion File emblem bag holder you hook it onto your table and it holds your bag so you're not putting it on the floor <laughs> so it came in a little dusty a little baggy which is so cute and in with it i keep the lock and the clochette and the key this bag is uh resale it's pre-loved so it came with one key and i put them all together and i actually keep that in the birkins back pocket we're gonna go quickly I've seen a few of these what's in my bags lately and I'm just kind of like how come they go so fast and Jerusha's are like forever long. So in the back slip that flat pocket which fits an iPad uh, is my mail so I'll just go to my PO box grab that. My earbuds completely tangled <laughs> but they're laying flat there. Uh, my fashion file pen I got that from 
Sarah. All their merchandise is so good and it's really good pen. So that's that back slip pocket empty. So it's going to be so hard to keep showing you guys. Then I just try to remember my layouts. So on that back wall straight away, I know I have my phone. So we have my iPhone 6 right there. On the other side, I have my Chanel Hydra Beauty lip balm, which is so beautiful. In the other little pocket, and then uh, in the next pocket next to it, so there's three, I have my Chanel card case in the caviar leather, dark red in the Chevron collection with silver hardware. Absolutely gorgeous little item, really getting used to that. And what I tend to do is like, in those little pockets, which I'll show you. So that's, see the three up here at the top? So that was in those three. And I tend to throw change in there sometimes, or bobby pins, or what not. They're empty. On the side, cheeky cheeky. I'm truly showing you, I moved it back from my other bag. But, pregnante, eight months pregnant, so we always carry snacks. This is a little brownie that my mum found in like the, uh, I guess, cake, cakes aisle in Woolworths. And they're so cute. They come in a pack of eight. And whenever I'm feeling just like a little nibble, I have that. And maybe a Krispy Kreme donut. The main area here, sorry, this is so awkward to show you. So my PM agenda from Louis Vuitton Six Ring of course, has all of my appointments in it. So straight out of that unboxing of this Josephine wallet, uh, pre-loved from Fashion File in Damier Ibin, straight, straight out of that unboxing, straight into use. I think these are such, oh, these wallets are so good like my Emily. I love it, I get great use out of it. It holds a lot, a lot of the time, not a lot of the time, a few times I've pulled it out, put my phone in it, carried my car key and run and done, and had done errands that way. So really gorgeous wallet. If you're thinking about it, check it out. I'm so glad I got it with the metal button, hence the reason I got it pre-loved. We have my mini pochette. So I changed out from my uh, cosmetic case GM in the Damio bin to my mini pochette for this Birkin because I didn't really, you know, I didn't want more weight. I just didn't. Uh, in here, I have a couple of coupons to Priceline, which is like our altar. I have my NYX um, Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. I have a couple of USBs. I have my little flip out hairbrush, which I love. I love this thing, it's just so handy. And then I have business cards and spare spare bobby pins and spare hair ties. But that is what I sort of keep in these catch-all uh, little, like like the cosmetic case and this mini pochette. I can't, it's like a catch-all. So this is where I'm saying, in this layout, there's another layout from Smorga, which I have here, which I'll show you. Okay, so this is my other Smorga bag organizer. I have shown it once or twice. Yeah, on my channel. Uh, I haven't reviewed it, which is a shame. I need to do that because they're just amazing. I think the quality is fantastic. The felt is just awesome. I, I, I absolutely cannot stand those ones they sell on eBay. And it's fine if you have one, if that's your budget for one, but they're like the kind of parachute nylon material and they just flop and sag. And if a bag organizer goes in your bag and folds up, like folds shut, I would be having absolute conniptions because the items would just kept getting squashed. And you'd have to like open out the bag organizer. I don't understand why you'd invest in that. So this from Samorga is felt. I've only chose the single layer felts, but you can choose double layer felt. So it's thicker that will increase the weight in your bag however if you want to protect items a lot more double felt might be good 
This is the other layout. So this layout has the removable center compartment here, which you can see. God, this is hard. So one, two, three squares and it's removable. So you can just have one large compartment. Maybe you've got a diaper bag or a work bag. You could use this as both of those things. And you need to remove the center compartment. It's just Velcroed in. But then you've got your three on either side and then you've got three on the back exactly the same as the one that I have in my Birkin uh, but that's the other style that they do and then they do the ones that I say has the drink holders in the uh, bottle holders on either side you can see I keep my glasses standing up so in one here are my spectacles my reading glasses in their soft little baggy they're my Chanel's they're so dirty they're my Chanel reading glasses I get a ton of wear out of these. They're so comfortable. I'm so glad I took my time in OPSM because, you know, rather than just going for like the trendier ones or the Pradas with big arms because they're heavy. These are so lightweight uh, and I just am so happy I invested in these because I wear them. So that is in reading glasses in one and in the other is my sunglasses so I use those as glasses areas <laughs> this is my sunglass case from Louis Vuitton you've seen it a million trillion times on my channel because I rave about them and in here at the moment we just have BAM my very dirty sports girl sunnies so many people ask me about this sunny still Yes, I wish they were the Saint Laurent or the other, uh, who was it, Prada or a Gucci pair? <laughs> I would love them to be luxury, that'd be amazing. Uh, the Celine, yeah, that's right. I got asked if they were Celines. They're not. They were 20 bucks from Sports Girl. I don't know if you'll find them again. They're just such a great shape. I do know that Key Australia are doing a collaboration with Desi Perkins and she's got a pair like this. I did want them, but then I was just like, Jerusha, really? Really? How many sunglasses can you have? So this is all stuff that I put so I know that I'm just going to either grab it and need it like car keys or it's not frequently needed. On this organizer, you have two uh, compartments, not three. You have two compartments either side here. You have a pen holder compartment, which is so handy in that I pinched a pen from mum. From, it's her Hilton hotel pen, but this pen is so good. It's so smooth. It's such a good writing pen. So she's probably not getting that back. So there was the side with the pen and the two pockets. There's another two pockets on the back of the organizer if you can see it there this is an atrocious shot but anyway there's two there and then this is the Birkin's slip pocket which I don't use mainly because it doesn't really hold anything well car key separately still doing that and my uh, four ring uh, key oh, four ring multi-clay uh, from Louis Vuitton in the uh, monogram multicolored noir, which is black with the fuchsia lining, the bright granada fuchsia lining, just beautiful. I held on to this, I love the size of it, and it makes me happy. Kind of, kind of miscellaneous here, it's just this should probably be in my mini pochette, but again, it's like a couple of bobby pins, spare change, hair tie. Um, Panadols, receipts, we got Target, we got Woolworths, we got David Jones, we got bed, bath and table, ooh, got some seriously cute linen and Manchester from them <laughs> to go in all of the bedrooms. So that's kind of a miscellaneous pocket there. But then on the back of the organizer, so now the internals are completely empty. All of the internals, well that's a better shot, are empty. But on this back wall of the organizer, we have the mints department. I'm obsessed with mints. I don't like chewing gum, but however, this pregnancy, I love mints. 
Tic Tacs, original Tic Tacs in the peppermint. Yum, love those. Eclipse, Eclipse mints. These also come in a gum as well, but the mints are so good and they fresh and your breath, girl, like gone. And then I had to get these. These are Tic Tac banana flavor. Banana flavoring, like fake banana flavoring is my favorite. I love it. And it's in Minions. Oh, it's so cute, little Minions in Tic Tacs. I'm gonna eat some Minions now. So that is that. That is my Hermes Birkin bag empty with the small bag organizer for Birkin 35 centimeter with the two bottle holder shape. I will link this actual bag organizer below uh, from Smorga so you can see the different shapes and you can see the different colors. There are so many colors, like the colors of the rainbow, but completely empty with the bag organizer and Togo leather look. As I keep saying in sort of going over it, you have to be dedicated to the fact that this is a heavy top handle bag. It has no strap like the Kelly uh, and you've just got to, got to commit to that, I think. So yeah, I just want to say a massive shout out and congratulations to Miss Christina. She too has just done this video, What's in my Birkin? I watched it and was like, oh my God, I'm so proud of you, babe. She too has just acquired her Birkin, her dream Birkin bag as a milestone achievement in her career and life. And uh, it's just, um, it's just an amazing thing. I think whatever it is and whether you think it's superficial, but making a goal, making a target and aiming towards that sort of dream target whatever it is, maybe it's Cartier, jewelry, shoes, a car, a home, and you just know that's where you're going. It really drives you and sort of gives you good direction and motivation. Anyway, that brings me to the end of my What's in My Birkin video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, guys. If you enjoyed it and you like my Birkin, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, that would be really great, guys. I will see you in my next video. Take care, peace.